Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to download and install the native version of Discord or the Discord beta on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So if you're a user of Discord, you'll know that Discord does not run particularly well on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. If you look at Activity Monitor, it actually consumes a lot of computer resources. And that's partially because it's not been optimized for the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. This is an Intel application and it's running through Rosetta 2, so it's not running very well. However, there is now a Discord Canary version, which is basically the beta, which allow us to run this natively. So I'm gonna show you how to install this now. What I'm gonna do is to leave a link to this Reddit thread and also a link directly to the Canary build, which I'm gonna click on now and then download. So all you have to do is click on the link in the description and then you'll get the download. So I've now downloaded Discord Canary.dmg. I'm gonna double click on this. And now we have the Discord Canary version installed. This is a special yellow icon, which denotes that it's a beta. So I'm gonna copy this into applications folder. Now I'm gonna launch Discord Canary and I'll click open. So behind this login window, it's asking us to receive keystrokes from any application. Just click open system preferences, click the padlock icon, use your password or touch ID, and then make sure that the Discord Canary icon is ticked. And then this will be able to receive keystrokes. Then we just need to log into our Discord account here. Just type in your username and password and click login. So once you're actually in, you might find that this does feel a lot snappier when you're actually switching between channels and servers. So this is going to run much better. So if you look at the type, it's now an Apple type, which means it's running natively under native ARM instruction set and it's using far fewer resources. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.